this uh, computer animation mini tutorial, we are going to cover how to use a layer mask to uh, animate a signature. All right, and so um, what we want to start with and what we can see here is we start with a layer of text um, and then we do a layer mask over that that is a shape tween of a small rectangle transforming into a larger rectangle. And then just have an animation of simple classic tween bringing the paintbrush kind of across and then frame by frame animating the uh, paint line that kind of underlines it. So uh, to get started in this, we'll create a new document and action script three will work. All right, so what we wanna do is start by taking our type tool And we would like to choose a font that has uh, a bit of a cursive to it. Um, Lucia is a pretty good one. And I'll go ahead and you will just type whatever uh, your name is here. And we'll move that down to about the middle of my stage. Um, next, what I want to do is create a new layer. This is going to be my mask layer. I'm going to choose a color that's uh, different from my font color of my print and on this layer I'm going to draw a rectangle. Um, I'm actually going to draw this rectangle without the outline. And the rectangle wants to just make sure it's as tall as your font. Okay, um, now we can go down our timeline. Um, yeah, 20 or so. It looks like where I went my example. So I'm going to go down to 20 and press F6 for new keyframes down there at 20. Um, always a good idea to label your layers. I'll neighbor, uh, my text layer a name and layer 2, I'll name this mask. Okay, and so um, on this layer for the mask, I want to create a shape tween that takes this from um, a small rectangle to a large one. So on this keyframe, I'm going to want this rectangle to stretch to be the width of my name. There we go. So that should do. Um, I'll go ahead and um, add this shape tween here so I can see that this stretches that big. And now, um, so what that's gonna do is that it's gonna make this mask reveal our name going across. Um, but first I have to turn this into a mask layer. So I'll right click on it and then create a mask. So now if I was to play this animation, you can see it's slowly revealing um, your name going across. And then really the um, next thing we need to do is add a new layer on top of all these. We need to unlock these layers, your mask layer, and actually see your text here. Um, so the other thing that I would want to do is possibly put this on a tilt is one thing that we could do. So I can give this a bit of a, uh, a tilt to it. And that angle kind of makes it appear more that it's a signature because we don't always write or writing on a straight line here. Oh, let's see. Actually, I can clear this last keyframe here with um, the name repeated again on it. And then what I just need to make sure that I do is that I move up this mask so that it still covers it. So now I should have this kind of diagonal going line here. And then lastly, um, we have some kind of an object uh, that's going to fly past here and, um, and unveil our mask. And in my other example, I had um, a paintbrush. Um, you could use a brush, you could use a pencil, a pen. Um, it could be anything, really. Uh, it could be a snowball, baseball. Uh, maybe I'll do a basketball. And so what I'll do is at the end here, uh, maybe choose a slightly different orange. And uh, I'll draw a quick basketball graphic here on this side of the stage. And so on this first keyframe, uh, this basketball, let's see, I'm going to uh, convert this to a graphic by pressing the F8 key. I'm gonna call it ball. I'm going to double click on this and go in and just add a couple detail lines. Oops, so I just wanted my brush to be there. OK, 
Okay, so we got a couple detail lines there, um, nothing too crazy. And now what I just need to make sure I do is take this tween and make it match up to um, the tween that is already there. So what I want is to make this basketball go from point A to uh, point B at the same rate as this uh, shape tween. So on this last frame, I would want the basketball to be kind of off to the side here. And so let's just give that a test. We'll put in a classic tween here. And maybe I'll just open up this whole animation. I'm gonna press F5 um, on these keys to just open up my animation and have it uh, pause there for a second. So let's see what this looks like. All right, so um, there you can see, kind of have the basketball kind of going across and revealing um, your name. Uh, you could do any other things that you feel that you'd like to do with these um, objects. You know, maybe I'll move this a little bit past, maybe it'll go all the way off my screen. But then you can see that it moves quicker than my mask at some places. So actually what I want to do is I need this spot to be further back. Or, oh no, further down the timeline so that that basketball doesn't move faster than that um, shape tween. See that, how that matches up better now? So um, that's going all the way across and unveiling your name. All right, so uh, feel free to be creative and add any other details or things that you can think of to make this animation a little more about you.